We are now moving on to the second set of videos, which is Kodalunga Alta, with all three weapons, starting with Mandrito, high and low. So a lot of our classes are going to be very similar to Kodalunga Stress, it's just that everything's done with the left forward, and the right foot kind of does the bulk of the work. It's always going to be passing to the right side, maybe going up the center. So we have the same kind of uh, sequence. We have the head guard defense, the, uh, the falso dritto, which can be cut ahead, cut ahead, and leave the reverso. Or we can also, if we end up to their ins, to their outside, so I've done this defense, and we end up with their sword here, we can actually go ahead and thrust, and then I'd get out of there with their reverso as well because Kodalunga tends to it to go back to itself. We can avoid the attack like we did with sort of with uh, the right foot forward, so here, and then follow up with whatever makes sense. We can use the mezzo andrito to number three, beat, and ideally thrust, and get out. Or if I'm my point is off, instead of throwing a reverso, we're actually going to go all the way around and throw a mandrito pondo. So we have a very powerful, a lot of energy behind that, and a lot of speed that's being built up. We can use facha. Again, taking the right foot, stepping a little bit more up the center, but we're still going to the left. And thrusting for defense. And then finally we can just go for the hand as a mezzo, as a mezzo tempo action. So we take that same step, but focus on hitting the hand as it's coming in. If instead they went low, we can defend with the false edge, or we can avoid it. So we will step out of the way, cut to the arm, and cut to the head. Alternatively, if they, for a little bit more on the ball, we go towards face guard and we feel nothing, we let them walk onto a point, hitting them in the face. With dagger in hand, we will either go right for striking the chest or hand, so mezzo tempo action again, so coming here, either striking the hand or thrusting. And of course my dagger is there to help out. It's making this a little bit safer for me than it was with sword by itself. We can do the cross parry. So we step out of the way, tra trade and cut the leg. And get up. So very similar to the Kodung Strata version. And then finally, we can use gold facha. Bring this up over daggers there to support. And we leave back to guard. If they go low, we can defend with the daggers that we did before. So we defend and hit. And because their daggers are, it's very likely this Stokat is going to turn into a Madrito. So we defend and cut to the leg above the knee. If we're a bit more ready, we're going to face guard, we see that there, or we feel there's nothing happening, so we will cut that hand as we step back to the Strata. So here, extend, and cut the hand. Finally, sword and cloak. Keep saying it's the same stuff, but because it is. So unlike sword dagger, this is what I find particularly interesting is that we can use the cloak to defend against a mandrito. So we're gonna take this very very small step with the left foot, and then immediately step with the right foot. So unlike other defenses, of the cloak or dagger, we are not going. Well, we're going initially to the right, and then we're going to the left. 
with the right foot. So it's defend, hit, or defend, cut, to arm, and then throw a lead out of So defend, cut, cut again. We can use testa and strike out a higher roll with a mandarito. So step to the side, trade, cut high, or cut low. And of course, we could use facha. So we will reach out and lead with a mezzo mandarito in this case. Finally, if it's a tack to the leg, we can always use our sword to deal with it, or we can void. So if I use the sword, we are going to trade and cut, or we are going to defend and cut high the stramazzone, and then finally we go towards faccio, we feel nothing, hold our leg back, let them walk into the rest. So that's all the Madridi defenses. Next up is Riversi.